Supersonic is here. Boom Supersonic is building the closest thing we have to the next Concorde. In this video, I'm going to show you the XB-1 test aircraft and how this small Denver firm is bringing back supersonic flight. So strap in and power up your afterburners. Hey, it's me, Nick here, the voice on this video. If you enjoy what you see, subscribe for more videos. And if you like what you hear, leave a comment about my voice below. Previously, we have touched base on three other potential supersonic projects. The Virgin supersonic plane, the Arion AS-2, and the Spike S-512. However, these three aircraft are nothing more than CG mock-ups and don't actually exist beyond a computer screen. The Boom XB-1 is different. Currently under development and set to fly test flights next year, the XB-1 is a third size demonstrator trijet that is effectively the first private civil supersonic aircraft ever built without government funding. The firm revealed the prototype aircraft today into the sun for the first time and showcased its technical progress to the world. An excellent step for this aircraft. So let's break down what this plane is. The XB-1, or otherwise known as the Baby Boom, it is not designed for passenger use, with only enough room on board for test pilots. It's 68 feet long, which is 21 meters, with a wingspan of 17 feet, or 5 meters. So it's very small compared to many other supersonic jet projects. It's powered by three General Electric J8515 turbojets that provide 4,300 pounds of thrust each. This will allow the aircraft to fly up to Mach 2.2 faster than the Concorde, although thanks to its small size and limited fuel capacity, it only has a range of 1,000 nautical miles, or 1,900 kilometers. To combat the impressive air friction heat that will spill into the aircraft's cabin, the fuel on board itself is ingeniously used as the heat sink for the pilots. From here, Boom Supersonic will perform checks and ensure that the electronics, fuel and other systems are working as designed. Alas, flight tests won't begin until 2021, and supersonic flight testing until well into the next year. As supersonic flight requires a supersonic trained pilot, Boom is working with the US military to test the airframe at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Future Nick here, did anyone else notice that Edwards Air Force Base has a golf course right in the middle of the desert? Um, military dollars work. This base is well known as the test bed for today's premier aerospace technology programs, including the Global Hawk hypersonic flight and the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. The company has not ruled out that the XB-1 will be available as a purchase for rich enthusiasts, but likely the aircraft will need to undergo plenty of testing and pass certification before it could become commercially available. What certification that may be is yet kind of unknown, as the US government hasn't made it abundantly clear what type of structure needs to be in place for civil supersonic aircraft. But this aircraft's real purpose is only proof of a concept for a much bigger, grander vision, and adeptly named the Boom Overture. This bigger aircraft will be the ultimate next generation Concorde at 170 feet long, 52 meters, with a wingspan of 60 feet. It will have a seat capacity for 55 business class passengers in a narrow 1-1 configuration. Each passenger will have 75 inches of legroom, which is typical of a business class seat today. It will have three engines just like the smaller plane at the back providing around 20,000 pounds of thrust each, which will definitely put the boom in boom overture. Flying at a speed of Mach 2.2, this plane will have a total range of around 4,500 nautical miles, or 8,300 kilometers. And it won't be a fuel-guzzling jet like the Concorde was either. 
One of the principal reasons that the Concorde wasn't affordable was that it just consumed too much fuel. Fast forward 50 years and none of those things need to be true anymore thanks to advanced engine designs. According to Boone Supersonic, this opens up around 500 new daily routes across the water that would be perfect for this aircraft. Highlights include New York to London in 3 hours and 15 minutes. It could also do Miami to Santiago in about 3 hours and 4 minutes. Although it won't be able to fly supersonic the whole way, having to slow down over Central America and perhaps skirting around the coast of Peru. Alas, it does run into some problems when it comes to tackling the Pacific Ocean, as the range isn't long enough without a refueling stop. However, routes with a stopover in Hawaii could open up a flight time between Tokyo and San Francisco in only 5 hours and 30 minutes. Or for Australian viewers, Sydney to Los Angeles will only take 6 hours and 45 minutes of direct flight time. The firm has also said that they could put in 30 lie-flat bed seats on board for these longer flights, with a few business class seats. Currently, Boom Supersonic is targeting around US$5,000 for a New York to London round trip. And that's both ways, not one way like the Virgin Galactic Supersonic jet which we talked about in another video. And this price is actually a quarter of the price of the original Concorde of $20,000. A future in which you can get anywhere on the planet in four hours for just a hundred bucks. And unlike many other projects on this channel, the Boom Supersonic Overture is getting some serious airline attention. By the 2017 Paris Air Show, the company has 51 commitments for 76 aircraft. Five major airlines have placed orders, with Japan Airlines confirmed to have pre-booked up to 20 of the first jets, to a tune of $10 million. At $200 million per unit, Boom predicts that they may have up to 2,000 aircraft over the course of the generation a $400 billion market. And at only $6 billion to design, build and bring the concept to market, this could really be the next gold rush. The aircraft is also earmarked for a possible Air Force One supersonic jet by the US Air Force, but we'll cover that in another video very soon. So subscribe to be sure not to miss it. There are a few roadblocks on the way for this engineering marvel. For one, they need to get the XB1 flying high and proven before they even begin to find money for the bigger boom overture. And then they only plan to make 6 overtures by around 2027, testing the planes over 2 years and using them to acquire more customers. But you bet that I'll be one of the first in line to buy a ticket on board this marvellous machine. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my other videos on supersonic aircraft, or the crazy Boeing Sonic Cruiser that almost got built. Subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.